Hello my 3D printer peeps. Today we are going to take a look at the Creality High Combo tool head. Here is the quite nice looking High Combo tool head. In the past, taking a tool head apart was a real pain in the ass. In the past few years, the 3D printing industry in general has made a huge step forward in addressing that. Let's see where we land on that with the High Combo. Before I use this screwdriver to take apart that tool head, give me one minute of your attention while I thank a company that's been helpful in keeping the lights on at 3D Rundown, PCBWay. PCBWay is an advanced manufacturing company that can create everything from PCBs to SLA, FDM, and even CNC milling to bring your commercial projects to life in a more advanced and professional manner than you might be able to do at home. They also offer a lineup of electronical components that you can order in order to marry your 3D printed and electronic projects together. PCBWay offers competitive pricing, fast turnaround, and a complete line of manufacturing services. Whatever your project calls for, it's likely PCBWay can handle it. Pop into their site, see what they offer, and tell them 3D Rundown sent you. Now, let's get back to work. To get this tool head off, we're gonna look on the left and right side. You will need an Allen key and you will remove these two screws. These are very small, short screws. With those two screws out, simply grab the tool head and slide it forward. The tool head is off and you have access to the hot end circuitry wiring fans and everything else. Two really great features of this new design is the fact that the cooling fan and the shroud are built into the tool head rather than built into the cover as they were in the past. This makes removing the cover so much easier as there are no cables, wiring, or additional screws to remove in order to gain access to this mess of components. Here we have one of the cooler features on the tool head and that's the spinning Creality logo. You might notice it's already getting a little dusty inside. Here we are looking at the hot end wiring harness. In the past this was a large fragile floppy cable. Now it's a very robust cable with a very small connector which is an extension of this really nice connection here in the back. This is one of the more unique features of the high combo. This harness right here, plugging into this box, coming out the base of the printer, leading to this box with this very firm connection, coming out here, and ultimately plugging in here. To remove this, you need to remove these two screws, then disconnect this. That's super easy, but also super secure. Under the hood, we've got a lot of cooling. Here is the nozzle cooling fan. That cooling fan has an air duct attached. And here on the other side is another cooling fan with a second air duct. So these are two independent cooling fans on each side of the nozzle. In between those two cooling fans is this little guy. And that is the cooling fan for the hot end heat sink. Something else worth looking at. These are the connectors. I like these better than the flat push-on connectors of the Bamboo P1P and P1S. The Bamboo X1C actually doesn't use those connectors. It uses snap-ons like this. These are much firmer than those snap-on connectors of the P1P and P1S as these physically clip into the socket. And you'll notice they've got a tiny touch of glue to keep them in place so they don't vibrate off. While annoying, it does provide some extra security and it's also fairly easy to remove. All the connectors on the hot end are this style and I do think that's a good call. You'll notice right here, this is your filament cutter. This lever slams into this peg and that cuts the filament. Meanwhile, on the other side is this interesting stopper, which is actually the poop shoot lever when the hot end rests against the poop chute, you will see the door close. Did you see it? It's right here. Open, close, open, close. This 
acts as the ejection method for the poop chute. The tool head will push into that lever and open the poop chute. That creates a chamber for the nozzle to purge into. It then poops into that chamber and the nozzle will move away, releasing that door and ejecting the poop. Shockingly simple and surprisingly effective. The extruder is right here and the extruder motor is hiding under this cover. This cover comes off using the same size tool and the same tiny little screws. Using the same size tool and screws for the build is something Creality has made great progress with. Here on the other side is the second screw. With those two screws off, this little cover pops off. With that cover off, you can see the stepper motor's harness and this small cable connecting to this sensor. Here, we are looking at the top of the high combo tool head. Here is the tension release lever. This lever opens up the gears, removing the tension from the filament. It's a little on the stubby side, but this is traditional for Creality design. You simply depress this lever to release the pressure from the gears. Here is the Bowden tube coupler. I do wish this release ring and the coupler in general was higher up, making it easier to access and to depress. However, I would avoid working with this coupler and removing this Bowden unless absolutely necessary. Behind it is a very small piece of wiring and connector. I believe this may be the connector for the filament runout sensor. The filament sensor is no longer awkwardly placed in a random spot on your printer's body. Those of you who own a V3 know what I'm talking about. Those of you who own the K1 and K1 Max know what I'm talking about. The filament runout sensor is here, so you never have to think about it. You never have to worry about feeding it. And most important, the filament runs out at the tool head rather than several feet back from the printer where you are stuck having to remove a length of filament before feeding new filament to the printer. It will now run out at the tool head and you may load new filament without having to interact with the previous filament at all because it will have been exhausted all the way down to the hot end. Gaining access to the hot end appears to be fairly straightforward. You will see this bundle of wires organized with tape and a zip tie. I'm not sure how this comes across on camera, but in person it's very neat, clean and secure looking. However, the wiring harness for the fan is this tiny connection right here. We will take all this apart in a separate, more topical video. When you are done playing with your hot end, simply take the cover and slide it into place. One on each side. How long until users start using just one screw or no screw at all? And that's the gist of the Creality High Combo Toolhead. Shout out to FlexiSpot for making getting these difficult angles easier with the help of their FlexiSpot motorized desk. And shout out to Death Racers. I'm Greg Adventure, and you're on 3D Rundown.